Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Get ready for some lore madness. There is a direct tie between Archimonde and Nazoth and it's in game. With the context of how Legion has progressed and what we now know about the future of the game, yeah, this stuff's pretty damn revealing. So, strap in, this is going to be a good one. Okay, we defeat Archimonde at the end of Warlords. On his corpse, we find an item called the Remnant of Chaos. We quickly take this to Malfurion in Moonglade, and he is shocked, saying that he's only encountered that type of power once before, in the Rift of Ong. We later visit the Rift of Ong, and that's where we defeat Xavius, and the seemingly peaceful aftermath is very unsettling when you look into it. Malfurion first visited the Rift in the novel Stormrage. He sensed the power uh, from an ancient evil there, but that its influence originated from somewhere deep beneath the sea, Nazoth. While yogg did create the Emerald Nightmare, pretty much, Nazoth is the one who spread it and used it. So Archimonde has an item that Malfurion recognizes as being from the same evil as the one he first saw in the Rift, so that's pretty much a direct tie between Nazoth and Archimonde, but it gets more interesting. In the novel Stormrage, the druids speculate that the rift bleeds into the Twisting Nether and the Great Dark. Do you know who also travels around space and uses the Twisting Nether, even to visit alternate timelines? The Legion. Remember that this remnant of chaos was found on Archimonde's person, and we essentially have no idea what he was doing before we saw him in the Hellfire Citadel raid. This could go a few different ways, depending on who was trying to use who. First, Archimonde and Xavius have history. Xavius was a Shara's High Counselor during the War of the Ancients, and Xavius was transformed into a satyr by Sargaris. Archimonde probably thought that Xavius was essentially his man on the inside, so knowing that the Legion wanted to invade Azeroth, he went to Xavius and had him start an attack from the Emerald Nightmare. This is not unlike how they tried to use the Scourge to soften Azeroth before the full invasion during Warcraft 3. Of course, the invasion failed and it led to Archimonde's first death. It is possible that Archimonde did not know that Xavius now pretty much served Nazoth, or that he just didn't care, but the point is, Archimonde clearly exposed himself to Nazoth. I suggest he did this while meeting or communicating with Xavius. The second option, and this one is more speculative and dastardly, is that the entire invasion was orchestrated by Nazoth. For a time, Archimonde's spirit, of course, was in the Twisting Nether after his defeat and death in War 3. The Rift of Aln has ties to the Twisting Nether, as the Druids think, and um, if that's the case, then could Nazoth have sowed the seas, incepted the idea of the invasion into Archimonde, kicked off the whole process. The only thing that I'm not too sure about is maybe the Raffian situation, and this really is just like a bit of fun speculation. Uh, I actually think the more likely thing is that Archimonde went to Xavius to kick off, you know, the, the preamble to the invasion, but yeah, why would Nazoth want the Burning Legion to invade Azeroth? Why would he let one of his loyal servants also work for the Burning Legion? You see, Nazoth does not like the Legion. The Legion opposes the Void. After all, the Burning Legion exists because Sargaris was so zealous in his want to destroy an old god-infested world that contained a Titan world soul that the other Titans confronted him and that eventually led to them all being killed by Sargaris. So Nazoth does not want the Legion to win. But what he does need to do is break out of prison, and breaking out of prison is probably easier when the entire planet is engulfed in a tremendously large war. Malfurion even says that Xavius' true master will probably be glad that we're distracted by the Legion. But when we look into things deeper, it gets a lot more worrying. Players defeat Xavius in the Rift of Ulm, and we think we cleanse it. Off in the corner, though, there is a cave and in that cave is the essence of the Void. What's even more strange is that the spirit of Yazera is in there too, but something's not quite right. She's expressionless, walking towards the essence, as if she's being drawn towards it. She can't be clicked on or interacted with. So, in the corner of the Emerald Dream, there is this essence of the Void, and this is all really strange, especially because when we take Zalatath there, well, she's got this to say. Almost completely gone, as if it never existed. But the rift is deep, and vast, and somewhere down there it stirs. Something has changed. The last prison weakens. We must prepare. So the rift is deep and vast, very much not gone, and we seem to see this in the essence of the void. It is confirmed that the Nightmare is still active in the future of the game because Chromie is attacked from the Emerald Nightmare by a satyr in the Deaths of Chromie scenario. 
The last prison, of course, refers to the prison of Nazoth. Now, Nazoth is a schemer, and I'll get on to the idea of this whole thing being a bit of a grand design in a bit. First, though, it seems like whatever we did in the Emerald Nightmare caused some sort of change that has weakened his prison. Now, Nazoth is, you know, using Xavius to lure us in, that's totally in character. After all, using people and discarding them, that's what old gods do. So, how could our actions in the Emerald Dream somehow help out Nazoth? We first need to think about where we are after defeating Xavius. Like the Emerald Dreamway, we're in a place that is not a mirror of a location on Azeroth. This suggests that this is maybe a more core part of the Emerald Dream, and this makes sense given how the Titans created and used the dream. Cenarius is standing on top of a platform that seems to be very Titan in origin, and I kind of see this place as being kind of like the heart of the Emerald Dream, intrinsically tied to the original work of the Titans. Could it be that we introduce the Void into this part of the Dream? Uh, perhaps in doing so, we give Nazoth access to the backbone of the Titans' creation. Uh, maybe he could open his prison with that. It's kind of impossible to say, but Blizzard liked the idea of the unintended consequences of our actions biting our ass down the line. Okay, let's get really tinfoil, okay, and suggest that this is a part of a thousands of years old plan, or at least a very old plan that has allowed Nazoth to react to external events in this way. So, the Rift of Aln seems to have connections to the Twisting Nether and the Great Dark. If you are a being who is constrained to, you know, in so far as what you can influence him from your prison, then having access to a sort of spooky space portal, that's a pretty damn good thing to have. After the War of the Ancients, Nazoth created the Naga, gaining a Shire as a follower. And during the war, uh, Malfurion killed Xavius, who was a Shire's High Counselor, by way of pretty much absorbing him into a tree. This tree then sunk in the Sundering, enter Nazoth. So, Nazoth has corrupted both Xavius and a Shire. Then, thousands of years ago, Fandral Staghelm planted a number of great trees. One of them is Vordrasil. Um, this was supposed to halt the spread of Saronite, but what actually happened is that it touched the prison of yogg -Saron, giving him access to the Emerald Dream and allowing him to sort of create the seeds of the Emerald Nightmare. He then passed this on to Nazoth, who is pretty much responsible for spreading the Nightmare further. In doing this, Nazoth eventually got access to much of the Dream, uh, you know, in the Legion expansion, including the Rift of Aln, uh, which gave him access to the Twisting Nether and the Great Dark. This allowed him, perhaps, to manipulate events to cause or prematurely accelerate or have something to do with the most recent Legion invasion, or at least be from very familiar with it. At the same time, Zalatath freed herself from her fool of a wielder and attached herself to one of the most powerful priests on Azeroth. This priest would go on to help defeat the Burning Legion and, in doing so, lock away Sargaris and all the Titans, removing the single thing that could pretty much destroy a planet full of old gods with ease. And then guess what happens right after we do that? We absorb the power of Sargaris' blade into Zalatath. Now, if that is not ominous, then I don't know what is. Uh, to end, though, I'm not claiming that this is some sort of perfectly designed plan. I think it's more that Nazoth is incredibly good at what he does, and is therefore able to react to events. By claiming things like the Rift of Alan, he pretty much expands his toolbox, giving him more ways to manipulate. So, when events change, he can change with them. Zalatath also freed herself right, you know, when this most recent set of events went down. And she literally is an eye, by the way. That could just be a nice bit of art, but it could symbolize her kind of being the eye through which Nazoth monitors us. This would allow for him to account for events such as Illidan opening the portal to Argus, which is something that couldn't be planned for. Um, and of course, that ended with the, the stasis of the Pantheon, death, or not death, um, stasis of Argus, and yeah, pretty much removing the only thing that's really a major, major threat to Nazoth. So there you go, that's pretty much my theory, but the thing is, we have a direct tie between Archimonde and Nazoth. I mean, I know that there's a few times where I speculate on things here, and I try to infer on what things could mean, but there's very clear evidence that something is a little bit messed up here. So I suppose this could also be my theory for World of Warcraft, you're now, son, the expansion to come right after Battle of Azeroth. That's it. Let me know what you think is going on. It's all a bit crazy, and I specifically want to know what you think of uh, what this Essence of the Void could be doing in, like, the heart of the Emerald Dream. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.